1400 meters meadow you made it congratulations Hello, good bros. morning guys and welcome back to a new episode here from clan and mado from wataroa i don't even know what it is there's about 300 people in this town <laughs> i think total guys in the smallest town here on the west coast it's so remote and rural and we arrived here yesterday we're on a big two-week trip here on the west coast and if you don't know who we are we're clan and mado we're currently traveling for 10 months this beautiful country of new zealand and today we're gonna go the alex knob track i hope i pronounce this correctly it's a six to seven hour day hike and apparently have this beautiful view over the Franz Josef glacier so that's the objective today I hope we're gonna see it the weather is amazing it and I is. hope it's there won't be any clouds so let's hope for the best <laughs> We're surrounded by mountains uh, couldn't see them yesterday it was like so cloudy windy raining and there's everything. nobody around ghost town, around here. Ghost town there's so just nobody if you want peace this is the place to go guys Wataroa. we hope you stay tuned for this episode it's a beautiful morning madam beautiful should, morning be i feel like i'm going to experience this on a sunny morning oh i feel like we're gonna be really lucky show the beauty in front madam <sighs> we couldn't see anything yesterday yeah we had a rainy foggy <laughs> evening yesterday on the way here so we see nothing didn't now even know look didn't even know there were mountains oh look. wow look at that amazing now i know why people live here so remote so they get to see these beautiful mountains every day yeah. Looking at the beautiful glacier in the background, I just didn't expect it because you couldn't see it last night when we arrived. No. There was clouds, so there you go. It's nice just to enter the town with the glacier oh, in the yeah, back. It is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really nice. Oh yeah. We're just entering the national park here, friends. Joseph Glacier. Oh my god, that, that hike seems never ending, Madeline. Uh -huh. It seems like a hike of hell. Yeah. Of it's <laughs> gonna be a long one. A very uh, a lot of incline. Bit tough with the car park situation, isn't it? All the all the rental vehicles. <laughs> Everybody's driving a rental vehicle. Everybody's a tourist down this way, I think, from the west coast. So literally, we're just hanging on the edge here. So beautiful vehicle. You don't want anything to happen to such a fine vehicle. So yeah, time to start the walk, guys. You ready? Hit the road. 17.2 kilometers, madam. They say eight hours return. Alex, no. I think it's more like a six hours if you fit and capable. So let's do this. Right into the dark jungle here, into the wild. Looks gorgeous. The rainforest of New Zealand. Oh, that's gorgeous. I have to say, like, it really looks really tropical here um, around the, the west, west coast. coast. Yeah, yeah. So we feel like we have a real damp, moist in the air at the moment. The air is so pure, it's so fresh in the morning. So. How is the weight of the backpack, Lynn? It's decent enough. Let's see. Let's see how it performs. There again. The rays are nice, aren't they? You say, like, this bush is really, really nice. So different from like the fjords, I have to say. It reminds me more of like the bush tracks you did in the Bay of Plenty. The Bay of Plenty, the bushes. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, Glenn. I don't know how you spotted that. Now. That's very small. You found there the ah. blue mushroom. Look at it's this. Actually, it's supposedly, it's only common on Stewart Island. We're on the west coast as well, so we probably have a quite a similar you know environment it uses your mushroom spotter i know plan. yeah that's magic yeah, that's things. the first time i've seen the a blue ah. mushroom it's, on it's the not as magic as the on which note it is the blue Sorry? mushroom on which dollar note i think it's the 50 dollar new the, zealand bill. i don't know the 50 we put it down below i found the red one See, I've noticed with the mushrooms, there's so many, there's thousands of different species, but when you go into the deep wilderness here in New Zealand, you will come across a lot, especially on the west coast. Magical. Because the environment is so like damp and kind of frosty, so you have a lot of blossom on the mushrooms. And I've never seen the red and the blue ones. I really they're super, they're super rare to I see. Really I really love the different types of moss. Apparently there's 500 different species of moss. Wow. It is impressive. This forest is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I've never really seen a forest so, so beautiful. So different from the Great Walks. It is, it is. Return is 17. Wow. 7.1k up, three and a half hours incline. But uh, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to come back down though. It's going to be much faster. Yeah. That's always the case. You run down the staircase. I feel like for me, as soon as I'm on the top, I'm like, ah, oh, I've done it. Yeah. And then you just get energized and you want to run back down. You like going down? Of course, like it's easier, Mado. 
putting up is the hardest. <laughs> I think for anybody it's hard. Yeah, but some people actually say that going down is really hard. It's, it is hard in the quads, it is, but it's still easier. But you got this, guys. Stay strong. Keep climbing to the top, to heaven, where all the helicopters are. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, buddy? You well? What? You make, you make it to the top? Yeah, yeah. very nice good day. Good man, good job. Say good. How are you, boss? <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Need I'm a not. hand or anything? No, no, thank you. Oh, good. Okay. You want to go to the gym later? Yeah. Stay up, my buddy. Where is he? Gym session after a seven hour walk, hike. Why not? Now, there's no gyms around here. We're in the middle of nowhere in the west coast. And there's no civilization except helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> we are about one hour to the track. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful archway of trees. Nice. We're going up, 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 and up. But all you can hear is helicopters in the back. Which is kind of sad because it's a lot of noise pollution ruining the, you know, the peace of, of wildlife and mother nature. There's a lot of helicopter tourists up to the glacier here, so. Just reaching a really nice viewpoint. The trek is really well maintained. It gradually goes a bit up, but it's not super steep. And you have a few stairs made out of rock here on the trek. I would say it's quite easy. Maybe not easy for everybody, but like it's very doable the first hour. Impressed by the maintenance of the track. And also it's quite sheltered. So we the entire time, the first hour, we're in the bush. It's pretty good if it's really hot or raining. Wow, it's so sheltered. Look how dark it is. The Hobbit land. Mm -hmm. Under the tree you go, Madla. Let's go. Into the mystery forest. <laughs> <laughs> I put a spell on you. The magic forest puts a spell on you. What type of spell? The flying spell. What? So you can fly off the mountain. Oh, that's nice. Like a helicopter. That's Rata Lookout. So this is how far we are. Maybe 40%. So 40%, yeah. Nearly halfway. Yeah, nearly We're going halfway. We're faster than expected. This, what, it was an hour and, and a half? We're moving pretty fast though, to be honest. Oh, that's cool, really. It's very big, isn't it? Just hanging over the, over the cliff side. Very rocky, wild terrain. How do you even get up here? Do you think that broke down? Climb up the side there. Are you so kind? I know. Very kind indeed. It's awesome, isn't it? That's cool. Maybe it's an old river. Yeah. No river bed. You never know. So Alright, fair enough. So guys, the second part here. We have about 60% of the track. It goes a bit steeper, I have to say. And you have to do more climbing. It's a lot of fun though. Climbing the hill it is. to heaven. Oh yeah, it's all carved out, yeah. It's so awesome. Christmas look, yeah, what a great name. Maybe. Maybe it's due to the snow. Or maybe because it feels like Christmas seeing a view like this. When you look at the yeah. the icy, icy peaks of the glacier. It's nice what to... Modern age you can create that. <laughs> it's there so long, like. We're nearly reaching the top. How is this? Some fantails. <laughs> the fantail birds. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Hello. Hello. Oh, they're so close. Look at them. So curious. They're so beautiful. Hello. Curious, the birds, fantails. So we're just reaching the top, guys. We're nearly there. You see the glacier in the distance. We have a lot of fantails up here, though. I can't get over how beautiful they are. It's going to boogie on the top. We're going to celebrate. We have the moisture evaporating from the ground, from the water um, and it's making clouds now in the, in the air. You can see. We're on top of the world guys, we are. Mado, we're in heaven. We're nearly there. No fall please. Keep falling dear. Oh my god, that's marvellous. There's a bit of a bright wow. glare though, that's the thing. Oh, the sea. The sea. I'm very excited seeing the sea guys. I know you are. Really enjoying the views on the way up. Yeah. It doesn't look very pleasant to fall there though. No. That'd be painful if you slipped. You'd be going straight down that mountain into that valley. Let's go, Marina. You got this. I believe in you. Just getting nicer and nicer the higher we go up. It's all crafted through the rock here. It's a bit of a funny terrain. So, we do have quite a steep drop below, and we're just walking along the narrow path now. The final run to the top of this peak. So excited. But supposedly, there's clouds blocking the glacier. Fingers crossed we get a gap in the clouds because there's nothing worse than climbing all the way up and not getting to see this massive piece of the glacier. 
Alex Knob, 1400 meters meadow. You made it. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. Ah, we've got a gap in the clouds. Briefly. Can't see the top of the glacier though, unfortunately. But maybe we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully the clear meadow. It's all the water absorbing from the from the rain the night before. Making a cloudy overcast. The peaks are nice, aren't they? Beautiful. Very proud and grateful for this moment of time. So guys, we took two hours and 53 minutes to come up here. But we didn't... small break. Yeah, we had like a five minute break. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Just kept going. Barely, yeah. yeah. And we, but mainly we just went up. So we have a break now and have some lunch now. Yep. And maybe this will clear up and we see even more of it. It's clearing up now. So beautiful. Sun is coming back out. It's actually a really nice walk to the bush and then you come up here and you're rewarded with this view. But definitely make sure if you're gonna do this trek, make sure you check the weather forecast so that you actually have a view on top of the mountain. Enjoying your lunch at 1,300 meters. Yeah, what did you make me? I made you a cheese sandwich. Gherkins? With gherkins, very gherkins. German. And <laughs> German bread. A few gherkins. What Why do you not? think about the view? It's nice while you're enjoying lunch. It's beautiful. Just sit here and relax and just take in the views, I suppose, of the beauty of the, that New Zealand provides to us. How yeah. hard did you find the trek? It was hard enough. It was all in flying. Oh. How hard was the trek? Mm, not hard, but it's funky. Like, you need to have a, I'd say, moderate fit. Fitness to, level. Yeah, to, to make it. And how was this the view? It was amazing. It <laughs> was the best. Guys, you can actually go up there for like, I think, 385. I read that yesterday. And to go up with a helicopter. So, Marina is going to do that tomorrow. Yeah. Are you exciting for this one? She's on vacation, yeah. so. She's on vacation. We can't afford that. No, it's, it's you know, <laughs> she's trying to fit everything in in a shorter period of time. So. That's all we can afford and I think it's already pretty amazing if you think about you do a one like day hike like it's a day hike we took three hours if you plan a bit more four hours and you get to experience a glacier you don't even know we don't even know if they're there in the next few years so this is absolutely amazing and we're really grateful to be experiencing this here in New Zealand another highlight we can put on the list uh, absolutely amazing so definitely worth the hike She's running away at me. She's gonna finish this track till the end. Maybe it's nice. We made it. 1,300 meters. All the way to the top. Good Two job, hours, Very proud 53 of you. minutes. Very proud of you. Bravo. 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 Taking over the world. Now all the way down. We're in heaven. You really have like a 360 degree view. It's amazing. Like seeing the sea in this kind of river. Don't even know what it's called. It's so beautiful. Let's go, man. Keep running down the hill. We're gonna run down the hill as fast as possible. So, two hours, 50 minutes up, and probably um, an hour and a hour and a bit down, probably one hour and a bit. Even one hour, probably, if we're lucky. We're going fast, we're keeping the momentum. This is what it's all about. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Let's go, Maro. Here you go. You're like a monkey flying through the forest, Glenn. Let's go, chicken. Come on. Keep the momentum. Let's go for a new record. That one hell experience. Ooh. Helicopters inbound. Everywhere. Down the hill you go. Like we're flying down the hill. Who does that, Glenn? Y'all think we're crazy. People. Y'all think we have two heads. I mean. Everybody's from the past, everybody. passing, we're passing a lot of people and they were all looking at us. Why are you flying down the floor? You like, feel me legs now though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel me legs. I find the walking sticks funny though. I don't yeah. really get the point of them. I, it's, it's a funny accessory. It's for river crossing, it's good for river crossing and stuff like that. But I have to say when I run a small bit, I find it easier. It's like, oh my god. the momentum, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoying the rest while they wait for Marina. So, we're trying to get the AC on. You are, but the AC is not working. Yeah. So, mission accomplished. We made it down in one piece. One hour and a half, guys. 
two hour and a, two and a half hours. I up. mean, that's just if you run down like us. Yeah, like lunatics. So I think we'd love to go in the town for coffee. Look at that sunroof. That is so cool. Yeah. We need to leave that open. We're dying here with the heat. Yeah. So uh, we should go in the France. France Joseph, is it? Not sure. The, it's already 3 p.m. I have no interest. I'd love to get a coffee, you know that? I uh, really would. A coffee would be absolute lovely right now to celebrate guys that's how i celebrate i don't celebrate with alcohol i don't drink so i usually celebrate with tea or coffee or you know in style that's that's how i do it i have no internet i can't check anything maybe we'll find a place for coffee Glenn. let's hope so man good job i'm proud of you high five <laughs> I'm, proud of you, proud of you. we you're, did it you're we good. did it you're good when you're good you did it yeah we did oh my god what a beautiful view i mean it's insane that within like within a, a day of a hike you can see glacier how amazing which isn't is very that? common in the world so no guys welcome back to france joseph on a sunny day this time because when we arrived it was raining and uh, marina is going inside to the glacier country helicopter flights so she's actually going to book the glacier flight to go up to the glacier but we're going to go and get a coffee and just explore the little neighborhood here the town right okay. so we're going to walk down here for some coffee we have blue ice restaurant and bar european and filipino cuisine very nice filipino cuisine would be nice wouldn't it yeah it's a lot of pork though isn't it there's a lovely gas station i'm just gonna walk down here i need a bit of caffeine of course a bit of coffee get the get the mood going it's a nice little place isn't it beautiful beautiful day for weather's great it's so, nothing better on a sunny day to explore so, town it's all cloudy now in the background pretty lucky that we made it all the way up to the top they even put now all the helicopter flights on hold what we just seen so yeah, just can't see anything, that's so. how fast the weather can change so yeah. let's make the most of this weather and explore little friends choosing even the petrol station sells coffee matter so if you're stuck you know and it's late they always sell it pretty late so that's if you have an addiction to coffee so not me <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's nearly four o'clock, so hopefully you can catch the coffee place down here. And this is a supposedly a pretty common restaurant that a lot of people go to in town here in the front. And there is a lot of helicopter tour locations, or the booking stations, a lot of them here along the street. There's like, I don't know, I've seen about five different ones. It's, it's insane, like, I don't even know the price. What's the price again? I think 380 something like that. <coughs> All right, let's check it out. Oh, yeah, beans, okay. cafe, coffee. They also sell pies, madam. Oh, wow. all the pies, they look tasty. Hey, how are you? You okay? Very good. Very good. Hey, can I get a long black, please? One long black. Yes. That's, do you want anything? You have it here, you want to take away? Here. Oh, I'll have it. I think I'll have it outside, yeah, quickly, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Got the coffee, got the goods, you got the orange juice, or the, the juice. Apple juice, apple juice. Cheers, Glenn. Cheerio, madam. Yeah. 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 Enjoy it. Cheers. Way Cheers. to celebrate, guys, yeah. Achievement of climbing the mountain. Coffee celebration completed. Yeah. <laughs> Did we talk good. about the four square? Oh, we have, yeah. Square. We visited that last night in the rain, guys. To buy some blocks, some cheese. So, we Enough. have another gift store, one four square. Two coffee shops or so. Yep. And a lot of places where you can buy hel helicopter flights. Yeah, there's about five different places. That, uh, yeah, we've uh, said that already. But um, so you have another place there, mountain helicopters. How much are you talking? Flights from 149 per person. Flight B, 299. Flight C, 420. 20 minutes for 299. So depending on the duration of the flight, the stiff. You alright? All good? Help, you? Oh no no, all good. Just checking the prices buddy. Thank you. So yeah, he's trying to set up some flights. So you have 50, 30 and 20 minutes. So yeah. 15 minute helicopter flight to the glacier. Which is 150. You can even do like in the... You can even do like kayak tours and quad bikes and buggy and all these type of things. The town ends here. The land and restaurant is there. So you can actually inside what dying and have a fireplace from yeah. here which yeah. is pretty fancy look at people check all fires oh yeah it's cool isn't it it's very cool live kiwi view on so you can actually see kiwis 
Is that what it is? Open from 8.30 daily. So yeah, we have a kiwi place down here. Okay, let's walk well, down there. Nah. How much for the beer? I don't know. Let's walk what down there. What is it? There's a tuk tuk. <gasps> oh my god. It says tuk for you. Back in India again. Keep the engine running, my friend. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cool. Let's drive that around. Only who owns it. So we can ask for a lift. So the town actually goes all the way around the back. And they have the lovely mountain peaks in the back as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we have an ice cream place down here. Are oh, you looking for ice? You want some ice cream? <laughs> so yeah, there's the kiwi place. We have chicks on display during a backstage tour. It's $38, guys. The minimum price is $38 for 30 minutes. VIP, $69. And then you have ice cream over here. Yeah. Marina, if you want some ice cream. No, I'm okay. You help yourself, you enjoy it. She got the ice cream. What flavor is that, vanilla? Hokey pokey. Hokey pokey? It's so juicy. The hokey pokey. You wanna walk around here, chicken? Yeah. Just to look, explore the town fully. <laughs> See what's here. So yeah, there's a, there's a restaurant and bar over here. We have some motels, some more accommodation around here. And we have some lovely, we do have some lovely mountains. It looks like, it looks like a tropical rainforest in the back, in the mountains. Reminds me of Sri Lanka or something. That's what I thought. Yeah, it reminds me of Sri Lanka. Yeah. And also there's no freedom camping or it's, it's all campsites, you know, if you're just, in your car. There's just dock campsites around here in this area, so. Yeah, yeah, so that's the current situation. Do you want to walk down this way? Yeah. Look at the glow warm accommodation, Maddo. Glow warm accommodation. They also have a hot tub inside as well. It's cool, isn't it? I would love to jump in a hot tub. Would you? Just to relax your legs after that nice hike. So no vacancy, Maddo, everywhere. No vacancy. Everywhere you go. I always, this is a funny one, I always say to Clint, no vacancy everywhere. I never see vacancy. There and is, always Clint there, there is the accommodation in some places, Maddo. You have some, some guy over here that built a, a bus outside into a, I think a, it looks like an Airbnb or something. Oh yeah. It's converted. That's so cool though. It is. Such a Kiwi thing here in New Zealand. Very colourful little houses. Yeah. <laughs> and also over here as well to the left, you have a little yellow car and a yellow building. It actually looks like an old rundown fish and ship place. Used to be, it hasn't been used in quite a while. A <laughs> guzzy delivery. Oh my God, that's overgrown guys. That's sad, but that's the reality. Oh, it's, it's actually open. It has air inside. That's the old delivery car. That's awesome. It's sad that it, that I had to come to this and they closed down. Very, very unfortunate. <laughs> so that's basically everything here in town. You know, Franz Joseph. Not a lot going on. It's more just accommodation for all the hikers and everybody that wants to take a tourist to the glacier. I wonder what's going to happen when the glacier melts in the future to all these accommodation places. This place is going to, you know, deplete of tourism. What's going to happen to all the Accommodation when the glacier melts. It's gonna be maybe an abandoned place. ghost town. Could Don't be even want to imagine. This is a good question. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, it's mostly what a lot of people come here for. Hopefully, hopefully, this is not gonna happen in the next years. Guys. No. And look at all the mot all the white houses. Alpine Glacier Motel. Another motel. I think they're all motels as well. Or I think they're houses. Tour is completed. Franz Joseph. Hopefully, you enjoyed the tour. Time to head somewhere else. I don't even know the, the plan, Maddo. So, we, I don't want to jump in the water, but Marina you does. guys want to jump in the water. So you guys. You, Clint. I don't. You don't? You don't feel like going in the water? I'm ready to move. I think I'll just relax now. Have yeah, a nice hike, so, so we're finding, so we're going to try to find a nice spot to jump in the water. We're on the hunt, are we? Yeah. There's some water to jump into. On the hunt. We just decided to go to the Okarito beach because it's on the way to Wataroa. That's where we're spending the night. And look at this beautiful tribe. It's just, I can't get over how tropical this looks and how much it reminds me of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Right? Yeah, it really does, yeah, I have to say. Right? Yeah, you're right about that. And especially on a sunny day, it makes the experience even more beautiful. Yeah. So, welcome to. Ocarito, there's not much going on. You can rent some kayaks over here. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at it's that. a nice little, 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 village. little village. Houses. Let's uh, continue the road. Maybe we can um, go to the beach. Look at this. Storekeeper. Storekeeper. What's a storekeeper again? It's a 
like a general store maybe. Oh. Well, the great thing about the four wheel, all wheel drive is you can just go into the beach. That's the good thing about it guys. So onto the beach we go. It's paradise. Wow. It's beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god. This is paradise guys. And you're on the beach. Out of a walk. You're driving out here looks like you're making advertisements for this car. I am, yeah. I'm making advertisements for the car, madam. It's nobody around, it's just the beach to ourselves. Pretty wild waves though. It's an awesome place guys, it is. Glad I came here now. This is this is great off-road experience here. Oh this feels so smooth. Carries are wonderful, aren't they? Jesus Christ, big difference to work. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Where are we going, madam? It's a different way. You're just going a different way off-road. Yeah. It's okay. a very small road. You just wanted to take the back road so we're not seen by the, the locals. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're not going this way. Guys, welcome back, back to Wataroa. Guys, this is where we started this morning with the beautiful peaks in the background. Wataroa. And this is where we're gonna finish now. Yeah, it seems to work quick. Exhausted. Uh, exhausted. We're, very, tired. we're very exhausted. I think we're just gonna have a shower, food, and then head to bed. Or maybe we need to do some video editing, guys. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and comment down below. It would mean the world to us. And we hope to catch you in the next adventure. Bye.